Hi, today I'm going to show you how to locate mixed numbers on the number line. It's a piece of cake. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is a number containing a whole number and a fraction. Also, in a fraction, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Once again, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Nice! In our first example, we're going to locate the mixed number 1 and 3 fourths on the number line. As you can see, this mixed number contains one whole. So first, we need to locate 1 on the number line. Here we have 0, here we have 1. Let's put an arrow over here. Now we need to add the fraction 3 fourths, so we take the line segment between 1 and its successor 2. Since the denominator is 4, we divide this segment into 4 equal parts. So we put a tick mark over here, here another one in the middle, and the last one is over here. Now we have 1, 2, 3, and 4 equal parts. Finally, since the numerator is 3, Starting from 1, we move to the right 3 parts. 1 part, 2 parts, and 3 parts. And this is the location of the mixed number 1 and 3 fourths. That's it! I told you, it's easy! Never forget to draw a ball dot at this location. Now let me erase the board. Let me ask you a question. What would happen if starting from 1, we move to the right 1 part? Well, we have started from 1, we have divided this segment into 4 equal parts, 4 equal parts, and finally we move to the right 1 part. Therefore, this is the location of the mixed number 1 and 1 fourth. Another question, what would happen if starting from 1, we move to the right 2 parts, 1 and 2 parts? Well, we have started from 1, we have divided this segment into 4 equal parts, and finally we move to the right, we jump to the right 2 parts. In that way, this is the location of the mixed number 1 and 2 fourths. If you know how to simplify fractions, you can rewrite this mixed number as 1 and 1 half, no problem. And what numbers do we have over here? Well, we have 1, then comes 1 and 1 fourth, then we have the mixed number 1 and 2 fourths, or 1 and 1 half, then comes 1 and 3 fourths, and finally 2. Let's move on to another example. In the next example, we're going to locate the mixed number 2 and 1 third on the number line. This mixed number contains two holes, so first, we need to locate 2 on the number line. Here we have 0, 1, and 2. At this location, we put an arrow. Now, we need to add the fraction 1 third, so we take the line segment between 2 and its successor 3. Since the denominator is 3, we divide the segment into 3 equal parts using tick marks, now we have 1, 2, and 3 equal parts. Perfect! Finally, since the numerator is 1, starting from 2, we move to the right 1 part. Yep! Once again, since the numerator is 1, starting from 2, we jump to the right 1 part. And this is the location of the mixed number we're looking for. 2 and 1 third. Perfect! Perfect! And we're done with this problem. Now, let me ask you the following question. What would happen if starting from 2, we move to the right 2 parts? Yep, we move to the right 1 and 2 parts. Well, we have started from 2. Next, we have divided this segment into 3 equal parts. And finally, we move to the right 2 parts. 2 parts. Therefore, this is the location of the mixed number 2 and 2 thirds. And we are done with this video. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye!